Hello and welcome. You're watching Beyond World is One. My name is Mohammed Saleh, and let's start this broadcast by taking a quick look as to what is making headlines at this hour. The in-person presence of the leader of the world's largest democracy here in Ukraine is seen as a significant commitment by the Indian side. The Indian Prime Minister urges the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to sit down for talks with Russia to end the war in Ukraine and offers to act as a friend to help bring peace as the two leaders meet in Kiev. The Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh holds a meeting with his US counterpart Lloyd Austin in Washington. The visit is aimed at boosting defence ties between the two nations. The snipers from Russia's National Guard killed four inmates who had seized prison guards as hostages and had declared allegiance to the so-called Islamic State group. And the United Arab Emirates accepts the credentials of an ambassador from Afghanistan's Taliban government, becoming just the second country after China to do so. The French President Emmanuel Macron begins a round of thorny consultations with political leaders, hoping to cobble together a viable ruling coalition after last month's inconclusive election. The WHO has said that its partners such as Gavi and UNICEF can start buying MPOX vaccines before they are approved by the United Nations Health Agency to get inoculations to Africa faster as the continent is battling an escalating outbreak of the virus. And a bus carrying Indian tourists plunged off a Nepali highway and into a river, killing at least about 27 people. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.